All right, so I have the uh, Aranea RTSA Pro software up and running here. I was uh, trying a few things out. This is actually connected to the Spectran V6 RSA 2000X. Uh, it may look a tiny bit blurry only because I'm uh, actually in this case using TeamViewer uh, remoted over uh, to this to this test setup here, and uh, so it's on 92 megahertz uh, wide as far as the IQ rate, but I have the span at a half, uh, so I could center on 100 megahertz, and so we're looking at uh, one of the default missions here that uh, when you open the software it comes up comes up with. Normally it's centered on about 2.4 gigahertz, and you can see a tremendous amount of activity. Uh, in the uh, in the waterfall and the FFT, <coughs> excuse me, so on and so forth. So, I I want to like really dig into the software, but I thought it would be kind of unique to show uh, like what spot jamming would look like. And the reason that I, I thought about that is because there's a program in uh, Dragon OS called Clever Jam, and uh, so I hadn't really messed with it uh, that much. But so. Um, this can be a combination of a couple different things here. I got SDR plus plus will uh, listen to 92 uh, megahertz here with an RTL SDR, and then to make this all really happen, I've got another computer set up here, where in the user user source clever jam, I've edited the uh, jam dot JSON, and I just added additional uh, tests here. Um, it starts at 10 megahertz a wide bandwidth and then 20 megahertz wide I just threw in there to see how this would react and then the frequencies start at uh, 92.4 all the way up to uh, 104 megahertz so what will happen is when we run this the JSON file will feed um, the GNU radio flow graph and it will uh, bounce between these different frequencies on a predetermined time uh, that we can put in uh, via the command line. So okay, so there's two parts to this, and if you needed to change, because uh, right now it's set up for uh, the HackRF, if you needed to change, you could go into the user source and use the GNU Radio Companion and open up this flow graph and change it for whatever other device that you wanted to uh, use, but so to get this going you need to have the jam.p if you want to automate this you need to have the jam py open and then I'm going to minimize this and, and so you could adjust some uh, things there manually and then we need to open up let's see how we're going to do this we need to uh, be in the user source clever jam directory again we're going to use Python 3. We're going to open up that clever.py. We're going to tell it what file, and then we're going to put a time. So this is like 0.3. Uh, you know, if, it, if you put one, it's one second. It's 0.3. I just thought that was a, a pretty quick speed to um, to blast through uh, from about 90 to 100 megahertz here. And so let's start up our uh, receiver here. <clears throat> Okay, so we got our uh, music playing in a loop here, and on 92 megahertz, and so now let's see what happens with this here. So we're going to run this, and so now we can see and hear You can hear the effects of that, uh, but let's say, let's say we want to make it uh, a little uh, impact a little bit more here. And so you have to remember, if you keep that flow graph running, that's going to uh, continue to where the last uh, where you stopped last is going to transmit. So let's pick back up. And so we'll we'll hear it come back around here. There you go. So that's a quick little demonstration of uh, spot jamming with the uh, HackRF, and you can automate that and add to or take away 
uh, from that JSON file, and then uh, we're looking at it in real in, in uh, real time here with the uh, the Spectran V6. So imagine, you know, the, the uh, Spectran V6. I can take it all the way up. I have it unlocked, uh, 184 megahertz wide. We could look at, and so and so just to give you a little, um, let's see, we'll, we'll we'll stop. I'll show you. I'll show you what the default mission looks like. Close out of all this. And we'll do one last little thing here. So two things. Uh, let's see. So if we open up the default mission, you can see what I'm talking about here with the 2.4 gigahertz. And so a lot of activity there. And uh, it goes really, really fast. Uh, this almost doesn't uh, do it justice with being remoted over to it. Uh, it it is, is just crazy fast uh, as I look over at uh, the actual remote system here on something else. But And then one other thing, let's take a look at one other mission I thought was pretty interesting. And so a default suite mission, let's see, starts at 380 megahertz up to 6 gigahertz. It's just mind blowing the uh, the one terahertz. I think up to one terahertz sweep speed. Now, of course, I don't have an antenna on here to cover all the uh, frequencies, but so you can see that uh, this wraps, and you start at about 400 megahertz on the top row, up to 1.7 or so, and then it wraps around, so on and so forth. So you're doing a sweep, looking at the spectrum, and uh, basically real time here. And, and again, looks a little blurry just because I'm remoted over. But that uh, it is uh, crazy fast. So, all right, that's just a quick demonstration of the Clever Jam and then the RTSA uh, software with the Spectrum. All right, thanks.